the post office. At Central Cusa High School. There he led his school to the state title in basketball. He was the leading scorer, the leading rebounder, and the leading shot blocker. He was the Alabama player of the year in basketball. When he was in football, where he would get his call. He scored 19 touchdowns in one season as a tight end. He signed with Southern Miss with a linebacker slash defensive end. It was here. He became legend. His head coach at the time, Jeff Bauer, says he's the greatest all-around football player to ever come out of Southern Miss. That was inclusive of Reggie Collier and Brett Favre and Sammy Winder and Ray Guy and Derek Dix and Anthony Dixon and all these guys up here. He said he was the greatest all-around football player to ever come out of here. Once they were the USM team of the Fishers, twice they the Conference USA Defensive Player of the Year. Twice. Four times All-Conference. All-American. He is the school's all-time leader in that. He possessed a 40-inch plus vertical. He ran a 4-5 time in the 40 and 250. Or better. And he pitch pressed over 400 pounds. I don't know how many, how many times he did 225. People say, Ryan, he did it 40 or 42 times. Uh, 225. That's what they say. I don't know what they mean. We'll, we have to check the record. He's the first athlete to play football and basketball in Southern Miss in the same year. So that's the history of the first one to ever do it in the same year. So then, as a four outstanding year here, he was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens. He became a starter on the defensive line and won a Super Bowl ring. In 2006, he shined in 84 tackles. Two interceptions, nine sacks, four three fumbles, scored three touchdowns, three touchdowns as a defensive line. That's the National Football League record in one year. And also played with special teams. He was paid in 2007 to New England, most highly sought free agent of the summer. He started 15 to 16 games, contributed to the first team, the first team. In National Football League history, the complete old record. Right. There was a stink in team history. But you need to know that he recorded more sacks over those three seasons than he was at any other National Football League linebacker. Well, when he wasn't playing football, now going into his ninth year, he's doing stuff. Just like this. He may do stuff on the Alabama, he may do stuff in places where he's been. And he comes and gives back his time and gives back his money and his stuff. He's preaching something. And he has the heart of a He just loves him. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to present to you the guy that 96 is, 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 is represented. You have on your shirt. A uh, David. No. Give him a hand. Thanks, Nick. Um, thanks, guys, for coming out. Uh, once again, we're here. Um, Mr. McNair has already told you some of the things that we expect. Uh, thank the parents for bringing them out. Uh, always thankful for that. Uh, give my staff, everybody that's out here, give them a nice stand up on your feet. Because without them, there will be no me. Everybody that's out here, stand up. Thank you guys. Uh, and thank you for having us. It's not really good for us, but you guys work so hard. Um, it was, everybody behind me worked so hard to make this go so smoothly. Guy in Weatherwall, Golden Lee, Texas Stewart, um, I know they worked all year, big sponsors, and um, appreciation is not told in show. So I want to show that appreciation and respect to them because they worked all year and are doing everything. And to Mitch, the greatest announcer in the world. I mean, Michael Buffett doesn't have anything on you. 
you know, let the girl as long as you feel them as your own crazy. And, and, and sometimes I, I don't know you talking about me, it sounds so good. <laughs> but you, you've, been, you've been consistent. You talk about a consistent man, this man, uh, now you guys have grown up, you've been here in the editor since I was here, so uh, uh, thank you for everything that you do for me. Um, so guys, we're going to have fun. Have fun, run around. We have great brothers, but you should need extra water breaks. <laughs> you should need extra water breaks today, so just have fun. Just remember, treat people how you want to be treated. That's all. No cursing. Don't just forget the group down here. I heard we had a little issue down here out here with you guys in the potty mouth. So uh, make sure you just be respectful. That's all the thing we want to do. You know, you can bring me out here. Uh, have fun. But at the same time, respect the coaches. If somebody asks you, if you have a question, if you see somebody with one of those t-shirts on, that's who you go to. Okay? It's not real hard. It's very easy. So, you the parents are out here. Have a good time. Run around. Be tired. That's what you're supposed to be. You're tired at the end of the day, so you go home and you don't even want to learn. That's what she wants. That's what it's going to happen. So, this is good. As good as the day, we have food on the show, as always, we keep it up. And uh, God bless, and I'll talk to you later. You know, A.K. is, um, which I love so much about him, you will see him. He will not disappear. He can go and say, I'm having a camp, and I'm going to fish. But he'll be walking around here checking out the things and he will say stuff to some of you young people, some of you who have been here before. You know he will say things and he will help teach while he's here. Man, what an experience he has. So y'all listen up and be attentive and we're going to have a really, really, really good, good time. All right. Uh, can't direct me. What else do we need to do? I want to make sure that I think everything else is all in line. The coaches are ready. I think we're, we're, we're well prepared. Also, note this, guys. There will be media bouncing around here. Um, wherever you're from, there will be snacks in the coast or here. Uh, even the Meridian, there will be uh, pictures of stuff uh, of what you've been doing out here today. So, I don't know. I'll tell you what, this camp is different than most kids. Uh, it gets a lot of good media attention, and that's always good. All right, I'm going to turn it over to our camp director. Give him a hand. Brad! 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 First of all, let me talk to the parents first. Uh, at the end of the camp, all about one fifteen camp will be over. So if you leave the campus, make sure you're back in time to pick up the kids. Uh, I think when you brought them in from the outside tunnel, they have lunch over here, you can pick them up from the same tunnel. And they exactly the same way you came in. So if you have to leave, just make sure you're back before 1.30 or 1.15 uh, to pick up the kids. Uh, if you don't stay around with the kids, make sure that you stay out of the instructions way, stay off the field, take pictures on the sidelines if you want to, but stay out the instructions way so you can do your job. That would be highly appreciated. So keep your phones off. If you leave, just in case one of your kids get out of line and get too frustrated and don't want to do right, we'll call you. They come get the kids. So we're going to just listen to the camp. Okay? Now, kids, here we go. We're going to have fun. We're going to be obedient. We're going to enjoy ourselves. Everybody got their own thing? Be happy. Now, right now,
fun. Whatever thing we do today, we're going to have fun. We're going to learn some fun moves. Yeah. 